Well, we just entered Goblin State Park, and right away there's some goblins. I'm just stopped on the side of the road. We're not at the main goblin field yet, so I suspect that'll be a lot bigger. But there are goblins. I'm not sure if these particular goblins have a name, but they're on the pamphlet. <laughs> so I thought I'd take a shot. So this is the main goblin field. That is a lot of goblins. There's some people down there, just to show you the scale. This place is pretty quiet. There's some people down there, show you the scale. There's the old lady, she's waiting on me. She wants to go down and walk amongst the goblins. So now we're getting right down amongst them. So there are no trails here, you just walk wherever amongst all these goblins. But you got this harder sandstone up here and then softer rock underneath that erodes out. And it creates these goblins. Kind of hard to tell, but that, that goblin right there is 20 foot tall at least. Just wanted to show this here could be a future goblin, just like one of these. As you can see, the ground starting to erode out around under it, and it'll just uh, directly under the rock will stay and it'll just erode down and down, and you'll end up with something like that. Hiding in the goblins. I was waiting on the old lady to catch up to me. Cause this is a maze. We'd get in there, we'd never find each other. If I get too far ahead of her. There she comes there. She's getting here. So there are tall, skinny goblins. And there were fatter and fatter goblins. There are old mama goblins. This used to be called Mushroom uh, Valley or something. The guy who originally found it named it Mushroom Valley, but then it was later changed to Goblin State Park. I was just wanting to show this rock, which is now forming a new goblin, fell off of here. It was here and formed this goblin, but then it lost its head. And now it's got to grow a new body. It'll take hundreds of years. This is a pretty cool double goblin. I think I'm going to head right over in here. And there's some goblins you can just about crawl up into. Yeah. I'm not a kid anymore. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> well, now we're up to where they really get thick. A lot of goblins packed in a small space. It's just like mazes in here. We'll be lucky if we find our way back. There's the old lady. She's coming. More cave like goblins. Ooh. Yeah. Too fat to get through here. It's going around this way. The old lady found her a stool. was yeah you can get through here
That one's shaped kind of different. I was trying to find the one that ranger or that um, scout leader pushed off of his pedestal and got in a lot of trouble. I was going to try to lift it and put it back. I'm getting towards the back of the field now. I thought I would take a little panorama. There's a lot of people down in here, but I haven't run into any of them. It's such a maze. It's such a huge maze that you never actually run into anyone, even though there's maybe 30 or 40 people down in here roaming around. Just looking at the whitish, the whitish stuff eroding out over there. That's a little different. Everything else is red. So I thought it was a cool shot with the big cliffs back in the background. Still trying to find my old lady back. I probably lost her. Maybe for good. I just had to get a shot of this. I found her. There she is. Yep. I thought I lost you. I just said telling everybody I lost you for good. I'm gonna never see you alive again. Okay, we're getting ready to leave and make our way back to the visitor center. You can kind of see the peak of it right over there. And uh I just want to point out that these are sandstone, and what's under this is was it the, deposited in a shallow sea, um, and it's just a combination of stuff that was washed down from the hills millions of years ago, and that's why it washes out so loose, and it's got solid sandstone on top of it. And the old lady's beat me back to the truck. She knows there's a cold drink and something else special there waiting, isn't there, dear? Ooh, look at her baby. look at her go. Ooh. This would be a great place if you got kids, man. You could just turn them loose. Let them all get lost. Yeah, the kids would have fun in here, wouldn't they? Yeah, turn them loose. They'd all get lost. You'd never see them again. You could go home and relax. Come back a week later, see if they moseyed out. This one looks kind of like a Japanese goblin. I don't know, it's just, just what it looks like to me. Yeah, we're going up there. I was just looking at such a heavy rock on such a small amount of dirt. This is a huge rock. I'm walking up to it just to show you. This is taller than I am. This is above, above, above me. But it's just on this little pedestal of dirt. We thought this one looked like a girl with her arms stuck out. And she's wearing a bonnet and a skirt. And there's a couple of them all in a circle like with their backs to each other. Oh no, you see all kinds of things when you're out in the rocks long enough. <laughs> And it's that stuff we had before we walked out here. That's what it is. It's making our minds act funny. Your mind always acts. Well, we're almost back. Our truck's right up there. That is one big field of goblins. 